good evening everybody uh, hello guys uh, today is the 14th day of our one month basic oncology and chemotherapy course and in today's class we will try to discuss about pyrimidine analogs and about cisplatin pharmacology so pyrimidine analogs and cisplatin pharmacology will be the today's topic so let's begin our topic with a small introduction and revision of previous lecture so in previous classes we have discussed about anti metabolites anti metabolites okay in anti metabolites already we have folate uh, sorry uh, folate antagonist folate antagonist in that the best example is methotrexate about methotrexate folate antagonist we have already discussed so these are all anti metabolic drugs anti metabolic cytotoxic drugs and next anti metabolic drug we have purine purine analogs purine analogs or purine antagonist in that we have six mir captopurine and related drugs that we have discussed in previous class and the remaining concepts in anti metabolites we have pyrimidine pyrimidine analogs so in pyrimidine analogs we have five fluorouracil and related concepts related drugs so in today's lecture we'll try to discuss about pyrimidine analogs or pyrimidine antagonist in that five fluorouracil is very very important drug and the prototype of pyrimidine analogs so let's begin our session with pyrimidine antagonist in this class of anti metabolites we have 5 fluorouracil we have citrabine capacitabine and gemcitabine so these are examples of pyrimidine antagonist actually see we have purines and pyrimidines purines and pyrimidines both are the bases the, uh, these are the bases which are required for the formation of dna dna and rna so these drugs what they do they act like pyrimidines and this the drugs are very similar to pyrimidines they go and accumulate in the dna and through that it will stop the replication of dna so in simple terms pyrimidine antagonist and purine antagonist all these drugs will inhibit the synthesis of dna or in simple way they decreases the dna replication replication they stop dna replication and with that they will kill the uh, uh, neoplastic cells or cancer cells neoplastic cells or cancer cells this is the basic uh, mechanism of action of purine antagonist and pyrimidine antagonist and in same way folate antagonist is also same folic acid is also required for the synthesis of new cells in the dna and rna formation in that way folic acid antagonist we have methotrexate about methotrexate all important features and important points adverse effects drug interactions and the basic pharmacology we have discussed in previous class in day 13 you can watch okay so in pyrimidine antagonist 5 fluorouracil cetrabine capacitabine and gemcitabine are the examples of uh, pyrimidine antagonist now let's start with each drug if we see about 5 fluorouracil we'll begin our lecture with 5 fluorouracil 5 fluoro 5 fluorouracil its pharmacokinetics okay so first important thing 5 fluorouracil when it is given through oral route immediately in the ga tract in the ga tract we have one very very important enzyme which is called dpd remember this point when 5 fluorouracil is given through oral route in the ga tract we have an enzyme which is called dpd and the full form of this enzyme is dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase dihydropyrimidine pyrimidine dehydrogenase dehydrogenase hydrogenase this is the example i mean this is the enzyme which is present in ga tract this enzyme immediately metabolizes metabolizes the drug and with that the bioavailability of 5 fluorouracil decreases because of this reason 5 fluorouracil is not advocated in oral route that's why it is mainly available in oral form it is available in iv form this is important point you have to remember now you see as its bioavailability is very less through oral route that's why it is not given through oral route and it is suggested in iv route that point we already know and in ga tract we have one very important enzyme which is dpd dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase this enzyme is also concentrated in other tissues like it is available in liver and also it is available in uh, neoplastic cells neoplastic cells so dpd enzyme is present in liver as well as in neoplastic cells but this enzyme which is present in liver it metabolizes 5 fluorouracil into active form of the drug active form of the drug active form of the drug as 5 fluorouracil is a pro drug remember one more point 5 fluorouracil is a pro drug pro drug 5 fluorouracil directly it has no function this pro drug is again activated activated and the activated form activated form of 5 fluorouracil will show action in the body okay so this is the important point now you see if you see the exact mechanism of 
5 fluorouracil the 5 fluorouracil when it is given this 5 fluorouracil is activated into fdump the full form of this fdump is uh, 5 fluoro 2 deoxyuridic monophosphate 5 fluoro 5 fluoro 2 deoxyuridine monophosphate so this is the active form active form of fluorouracil the active form of fluorouracil inhibits one very very important enzyme which is present in the cells which is present in the cells mainly in the neoplastic cells neoplastic cells in the neoplastic cells we have a very important enzyme which is called thymidylate synthetase synthase or synthetase thymidylate synthetase enzyme is inhibited actually this enzyme converts the dump into tmp this tmp again helps in the dna synthesis actually dump the name of dump is deoxyuridylic acid deoxyuridylic acid uridylic acid this deoxyuridylic acid is converted into tmp tmp which is deoxythymidylic acid deoxy deoxy thymidylic thymidylic acid or thymidylic monophosphate here monophosphate monophosphate okay deoxyuridylic monophosphate deoxy thymidylic monophosphate so simply deoxyuridylic acid is converted into deoxy thymidylic acid in the presence of thymidylate synthetase so when this enzyme is inhibited there is no conversion of dump to tmp actually this tmp is important in dna synthesis so in the absence of tmp dna synthesis decreases and with that there is no dna replication there is no dna replication and further the neoplastic cell which is which is proliferating rapidly it will stop its proliferation and the neoplastic cell will die with that fluorouracil is having cytotoxic anti-metabolite activity this is the simple mechanism of action of 5 fluorouracil one more point you have to remember 5 fluorouracil fluorouracil is not only having cytotoxic anti-metabolite activity it is also used as antifungal agent anti fungal agent however for antifungal agents we have many other uh, effective drugs like we have ketoconazole fluconazole, fluconazole itraconazole and uh, other drugs like amphotericin b amb amphotericin b all these drugs we have so 5 fluorouracil is not effectively used for fungal infections it is used as uh, cytotoxic antimetabolite agent anyways <clears throat> and remember one point 5 fluorouracil is especially given it is used for colorectal cancer colorectal cancer colon and rectal cancer actually these are the lower GI tract lower GI tract uh, areas and in upper GI tract also it is used upper GI tract also upper GI tract cancers also fluorouracil is used along with this it is also used for breast cancer and for ovarian cancer ovarian cancer so 5 fluorouracil is effective for breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colorectal cancer, and other GI tract related cancers. This is important point we have to remember. Okay. So, mechanism you already understood. 5 fluorouracil is activated into FDUMP. FDUMP inhibits the time related synthase, and this enzyme stops the, and due to the inhibition of this enzyme, it stops the production of TMP, which is important in synthesizing DNA. And with that, DNA replication stops. If we, if we see the mechanism with the, in terms of, uh, Kinetics, we can see when 5-fluorouracil uh, is given, 5-fluorouracil has many actions like it, it inhibits the uh, uh, enzyme, thymidylate synthetase enzyme, and with that, it stops the production of deoxythymidic uh, monophosphate, which is important in DNA synthesis. DNA synthesis. Okay. Actually, when 5-fluorouracil is given, 20% of the 5-fluorouracil, which is active, which is activated, that will be excreted through kidneys. Remaining 80% is again degraded in the liver and that 80 percent degraded is excreted through uh, urine again okay so this is the pharmacokinetics and remember 5 fluorouracil is not concentrated in cerebrospinal fluid very very less concentration it is less concentrated in cerebrospinal fluid and it is metabolized in the hepatic and extra hepatic tissues wherever uh, we have uh, dpd enzyme okay dpd enzyme dpd enzyme tries to metabolize 5 fluorouracil okay so one very important point you have to remember about dpd dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase this enzyme is having risk of uh, polymorphism few patients who are having dpd polymorphism in that cases the dpd enzyme activity is decreased or few patients will have dpd deficiency so in the patients who are having dpd deficiency in those cases 5 fluorouracil toxicity is seen toxicity is seen very important point so before advising 5 fluorouracil always we have to check patient with dpd 
polymorphism is there or not. This is important point we have to remember. Now, if you see the adverse effects of 5 fluorouracil, adverse effects of 5 fluorouracil, always remember 5 fluorouracil causes nausea, anorexia, anorexia, sometimes vomiting also. Vomiting in, in overdoses, it causes vomiting. But other than vomiting, diarrheal symptoms are very high. It causes diarrhea. And along with this, very, very important adverse effect, it causes stomatitis. Stomatitis. So, stomatitis is the inflammation in the mouth. Okay, in the mouth, it causes ulcers. And in the mouth, it causes inflammation of the lips, in the tongue. Okay, all these are adverse effects associated with stomatitis. And one very, very important adverse effect in the GA tract, as I told, in GA tract, we have DPD enzyme. DPD enzyme. In few cases, whose DPD enzyme polymorphism is there in that cases, if DPD enzyme deficiency is seen in the GA tract, it causes it causes severe GI ulcers. GI ulcers. If it is given through oral route, that's because of this risk, it is not suggested. But if it is given through GA tract, it causes GI ulcers. Very, very important adverse effect. And it as other cytotoxic drugs, it causes bone marrow suppression. Due to this, it causes thrombocytopenia, it causes anemia. Okay, thrombocytopenia and anemia is very common. And very, very important adverse effect associated with pyrimidine, pyrimidine analogs is it causes hand foot syndrome. Hand foot syndrome, it is the allergic type of uh, ulcer type reaction which is seen on the palm and on the foot, which is called hand foot syndrome. So, 5 fluorouracil and other compounds which are related to pyrimidine analogs they causes hand foot syndrome as very very important adverse of it so hand foot syndrome you have to remember it causes gi ulcers in patients who are having dpd deficiency stomatitis is common mouth ulcers nausea vomiting diarrhea anorexia are common so these are important adverse effects associated with 5 fluorouracil and if you see the uses as we have already discussed it is it is useful for colorectal cancer lower gi tract for upper gi tract it is used it is very important for breast as well as ovarian cancers so these are important points so we have discussed the kinetics mechanism action uses and adverse effects of 5 fluorouracil always remember 5 fluorouracil is a product it is activated into active form and the active form of the drug will inhibit thymylidate synthase and this inhibition decreases dna synthesis simple simple mechanism and it is not <clears throat> suggested through oral route it is given through iv route and in the liver it is metabolized again and 80% metabolized form will be excreted through urine and 20%, 15 to 20% active form, unchanged form will be excreted through urine. These are important points. But yeah, if you see, see this is food, uh, hand food syndrome. It is hand food syndrome. Hand food syndrome is the condition where the hand palm area is totally inflamed and rashes are seen, and on the foot also rashes are seen. Right? This erythem erythematous rashes are seen on the foot and on the hands. This condition is called hand foot syndrome. This hand foot syndrome is seen with 5 fluorouracil and other pyrimidine analogs. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is stomatitis. Stomatitis. Actually, this conjunctivitis and uh, conjunctivitis and arachnoidis, these are seen with the other drugs. I'll, I'll try to tell you those drugs also. So this finishes our pyrimidine, uh, I mean, 5 fluorouracil. Next drug is citraben. Citraben is the another drug which is uh, under anti metabolites of pyrimidine antagonist. So, cytrabine is also called as cytosin arabinoside. Cytosin arabinoside. Arabinoside. Cytosin arabinoside. Actually, when I was explaining about uh, acute myeloid leukemia, in that case, cytosine drug was there. Cytosine is very commonly used. This drug is very, very effective for acute myeloid. Lymph, uh, leukemia and also it is effective for Hodgkin's lymphoma and non Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, citrabin, which is a pyrimidine analog, which is effective for acute myeloid leukemia, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. When citrabin is given, citrabin as it is available in IV form, it is not available in oral form, same like 5 fluorouracil when it is given in the body, in the body, in the cells or in the body, citrabin is phosphorylated. It is phosphorylated and this phosphorylated compound of citrabin it has many actions what this phosphorylated compound of citrabin does is it incorporates into dna incorporates in dna and it inhibits it inhibits 
DNA polymerase enzyme, DNA polymerase enzyme, and it also inhibits the formation of cytidylic acid. It inhibits the formation of cytidylic acid and it interferes with the DNA DNA repair. So these are different actions. It inhibits DNA repair, it incorporates into DNA, it inhibits DNA polymerase enzyme, it inhibits cytidylic acid. Due to these all actions, what citrabine does is citrabine will decrease the DNA replication. DNA replication. Actually, DNA replication is the ultimate action of all pyrimidine analogs, pyrimidines and pyrimidine analogs. But how they does DNA replication, how they decreases DNA replication is when citrabine is given, citrabine is phosphorylated in the body, and this phosphorylated compound incorporates in DNA and it de decreases the DNA replication. And in another form, it also inhibits DNA polymerase. This enzyme is important in DNA replication. It also inhibits the formation of cytidylic acid, which is again important component in DNA replication. Okay, and through DNA repair inhibition, also it will stop DNA replication. So these are different actions of citrabine through which it stops DNA replication and through that it kills the neoplastic cells. I think you understood the mechanism of action of citrabine. Now let us talk about pharmacokinetics. ADME, ADME, pharmacokinetics of citrabine. Remember, 20 only when it is given through oral load, 20% of the drug is having bioavailability. That's why it is not given through oral load. It is available only through IV form. And when it is given through IV form, 100% of the drug is available. And another important point you have to remember, it is available in intrathecal route also. Intrathecal route. Intrathecal route is that route way through which we administer the drug in spinal cord to increase the concentration in cerebrospinal fluid. Okay. And uh, yeah, it is distributed. It is distributed in most of the tissues. When it is given through intrathecal route, it is distributed very well in the cerebrospinal fluid. And uh, it is metabolized in the liver and uh, it is excreted through urine. Okay. So actually, when it is excreted, only 10% of the drug is excreted through urine and remaining is excreted uh, through feces and through other routes. And remember here, very, very, very important point. This citrabine is available as depot liposomal formulations also. Deport liposomal form, liposomal, liposomal formulation. This liposomal formulation is when when it is given through intrathecal route, its duration of action is very high and it is highly concentrated in cerebrospinal fluid. Always remember, liposomal form is having more duration of action. Its duration of action is very long, and it is concentrated in the body for a long period of time. Okay, and its bioavailability is also very high when it is given through liposomal form. Actually, liposomal forms are the novel forms other than conventional forms. Okay, so these are important points about pharmacokinetics. If you see the adverse effects, mm -hmm. adverse effects of citrabine, it is having bone marrow suppression, same like 5 fluorouracil. It causes stomatitis, same like 5 fluorouracil, stomatitis, and it causes conjunctivitis, very important. Conjunctivitis, just now, previous slide I, I have shown you this is conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis is mainly characteristic adverse effect of citrabine. Remember, citrabine, citrabine, citrabine causes, citrabine causes conjunctivitis, okay? And another very important point, when citrabine is given, citrabine is given, always remember, for every one to two weeks of citrabine treatment, we have to check or we have to go with chest x-ray because it causes uh, chest infiltration and it causes inflammation in the uh, pulmonary tissue. That's why chest x-ray is performed after giving citrabine after one to two weeks okay this is very very important point we have to remember being a clinical pharmacist and one more important point as i told you it is given through intrathecal route and it is concentrated very well in this cerebrospinal fluid in through intrathecal route if it is given through intrathecal route it can cause it can cause i told it can cause arachnoiditis arachnoiditis actually arachnoid arachnoid membrane is present in the spinal cord so when it is given through intrathecal route, so it causes arachnoiditis, inflammation of arachnoid matter or arachnoid membrane of this uh, spinal cord. This is the another adverse effect. And remember one point, when citrabine is given through intrathecal route along with methotrexate, its adverse effect is very, very high. That's why always remember when citrabine is given along with methotrexate, you have to be very, very careful with arachnoiditis and other associated adverse effects that you have to remember. These are important points about citrabine. Okay. So, citrabine adverse effect, main adverse effect is, as I told, 
it causes pulmonary edema and because of that for every one to two weeks we have to perform chest x-ray chest x-ray okay and it causes uh, bone marrow suppression it causes stomatitis but that we already know it causes conjectivitis conjectivitis this is important you have to remember conjectivitis is important and along with this it causes cns atrocyte effects in cns atrocyte effects sometimes it causes convulsions seizures and if it is given along with methotrexate it can cause lethal uh, neuritis okay it causes neuritis neuritis very very important nervous related uh, neuronal symptoms so these are important points about citraven citraven always remember it is used for aml acute myeloid leukemia it is useful for hodgkin's lymphoma and non hodgkin's lymphoma okay in kinetics remember it is available in ib root in liposomal form it is available when it is given in liposomal form always remember don't advise with methotrexate because it increases methotrexate and liposomal form toxicity about kinetics this is important point you have to remember and in mechanism already you know it is it decreases dna uh, replication and stops the proliferation of the cells same like other purines and pyrimidines okay and in adverse effects remember cns adverse effects are very very important so these are important points associated with citrabine now let's talk about capacitabine capacitabine it is a prodrug of 5 fluorouracil actually 5 fluorouracil is prodrug again 5 fluorouracil prodrug is capacitabine 5 fluorouracil i told it is available in iv form so if 5 fluorouracil is given through oral route it is it is converted in the capacitabine and this capacitabine is the prodrug of 5 fluorouracil from the ga tract again it is converted into 5 fluorouracil and this 5 fluorouracil again goes to liver and in the liver again it shows same action like 5 fluorouracil and it is very much effective for metastatic breast cancer colorectal cancer same like 5 fluorouracil and this drug is commonly advised capacitabine is given in combination with docetaxel always it is given with docetaxel which is having good efficacy and same like 5 fluorouracil hand foot syndrome is another uh, uh, for uh, capacitabine hand foot syndrome is very very important adverse effect so capacitabine is available through oral route if 5 fluorouracil is given through oral route we have to go with capacitabine if it is given through iv route we have to go with 5 fluorouracil mechanism of action and, and uh, there are adverse effects and uses and everything is very very similar to 5 fluorouracil okay <clears throat> now uh, if you see the gemcitabine this is the last drug of pyrimidine analogs uh, gemcitabine is also having same mechanism like other pyrimidine analogs but it is uh, effective for testicular and breast and pancreatic cancers okay and other cancers also it is very much effective mechanical reaction is very similar and here one important point you have to remember gemcitabine initially it was studied for it was studied as anti uh, anti um, viral drug it is studied as antiviral drug and later on it was found that this and along with antiviral property it is having cytotoxic property that's why it is used for cancer condition also so along with anti cancer properties it is having antiviral property and along with anti cancer this gem cetabine is particularly given for hepatitis e virus because it stops the replication of ortho heptovirus a which is very very effective which, which, which causes hepatitis e so gem cetabine remember always remember it is it is antiviral as well as anti cancer drug so in antiviral activity it is useful for hepatitis e infection particularly it, it, it stops the replication of ortho heptovirus a this is important point you have to remember and all other adverse effects and all are very very similar to 5 fluorouracil 5 fluorouracil okay so that is about gemcitabine now let's talk about cisplatin cisplatin is the very important heavy metal containing anti cancer drug okay so because of its heavy metal containing compound it is called platinum containing compound cisplatin is the example of example of a certain uh, anti cancer class of drugs which are called platinum containing containing platinum containing anti cancer drugs anti cancer drugs so in platinum containing anti cancer drugs we have some examples in that first example is cisplatin cisplatin and next example we have carboplatin carboplatin all these compounds are containing platinum in their chemical structure another example we have oxali oxali platin and another example what we have yeah so these are cco cisplatin caroplatin and oxali platin these are the best examples of platinum containing anti cancer drugs so we we'll, let's begin platinum containing anti cancer drugs with cisplatin so it is a heavy metal complex 
which is very effective as anti-neoplastic agent. See, if you see the pharmacokinetics, or if you see, first we'll start with the mechanism of action. Cisplatin and carboplatin, all other platins are having same mechanism of action. Okay. So when the drug, always remember these drugs are given in IV root only. Platinum containing compounds are available in IV root only. Because when it is given through oral route, oral bioavailability of heavy metals or oral bioavailability of uh, large compounds, large compounds, heavy compounds are not absorbed rapidly from GE tract. Okay. So because of their large heavy metal compound, they are not absorbed properly from GA tract. That's why they are available in IV form. Okay. That important point you have to remember. When it is given through IV root, when the drug is given, this particularly cisplatin, it forms highly reactive platinum complexes. Platinum complexes are formed immediately when it is absorbed or when it is entered into the cell. In the neoplastic cell, the platinum containing complexes will go and accumulate in the DNA, and in the DNA, it damages the DNA. Simple. It forms cross links and it damages the DNA. Same like other drugs. So, these drugs, uh, platinum containing heavy metals, are also non cell specific drugs. So, what they do? When the drug enters into the cell, it enters into DNA, it forms cross links and it, it interferes with the DNA repair. Okay, it stops the DNA synthesis, it mismatches the repair and it causes death of the cell. Simple De death of the neoplastic cell. This is the uh, very simple mechanism of action of platinum containing compounds. If you see the important points about platinum containing compounds, platinum containing compounds always remember first very very important point they are heavy metals heavy metals they are having high protein binding capacity binding capacity they have good protein binding capacity since their protein binding capacity is very good their they are their duration of action duration of action is also very high number one okay first point they are heavy metals they have good protein binding capacity because of that their duration of action is very high another point okay they are concentrated in kidneys liver okay and sometimes in the intestines intestines and they are concentrated in the testes of males testes of males okay as they are concentrated in these tissues they are very slowly excreted through urine very slowly excreted through urine so if platinum containing compounds are given in larger doses high concentration of the drug is accumulated in the kidneys and it causes nephrotoxicity it, it damages the kidney it damages the liver okay it accumulates in the intestines it accumulates in the testes and another important point all heavy metals and drugs which are having uh, um, more molecular size they causes neuropathy neuropathy they causes neuropathy they causes nephropathy nephropathy and they also causes ototoxicity ototoxicity same like amino glycosides remember amino glycosides are antibiotics in that we have amikacin kanamycin gentamicin all these drugs are amino glycosides same amino glycosides molecular size is also very high so high molecular size drugs and they are very polar drugs when they are given they has high ability to accumulate in neurons with that they causes neuropathy so platinum containing compounds also accumulates in neurons and it causes neuropathy it accumulates in the kidneys and causes nephropathy it accumulates in the ear eardrum in the ear and it causes phototoxicity it causes deafness in the people okay so neuropathy nephropathy ototoxicity so these are very very important points you have to remember about platinum containing compounds heavy metals their protein binding is very high their duration of action is very high they are accumulated in the tissues and they cause neuropathy nephropathy ototoxicity okay so these are important points and another very very important point is they are highly carcinogenic if they are given for uh, patients who are having cancer as anti-cancer drugs they can also induce another cancer okay so secondary cancers can be caused due to platinum containing compounds because of their carcinogen property and they have high teratogenic property teratogenic property so in pregnancy they are not suggested and if patients who are having kidney impairment in that cases it is not suggested and another very important point you have to remember about platinum containing compounds especially cisplatin cisplatin see i told it causes neuropathy nephropathy and ototoxicity ototoxicity along with this it causes other other ad uh, adverse effects like it causes electrolyte imbalance electrolyte imbalance 
see in lithium while while explaining about lithium lithium is very similar to sodium that's why what lithium does lithium will try to increase toxicity especially when patient is having hyponatremia okay so when patient has hyponatremia lithium toxicity occurs in the same way latinum containing compounds also causes some electrolyte imbalances it causes hypokalemia 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 is decreased amount of potassium in the body potassium levels are very important 3.5 to 5.5 milli 5.5 milli equivalent per liter is maintained in the body if potassium level falls less than 3.5 it causes hypokalemia so platinum containing compounds causes hypokalemia it causes hypocalcemia hypocalcemia calcium levels will be decreased in the body in previous classes i told 9 to 11 mg per dl is the normal level of calcium if it is decreasing less than 9 mg per dl that is called hypocalcemia and sometimes it also causes hypomagnesemia magnesemia so magnesium concentration also decreases in the body when cisplatin is given so cisplatin remember cisplatin causes nephropathy neuropathy ototoxicity electrolyte imbalance hypokalemia hypocalcemia hypomagnesemia it is having good protein binding capacity plasma binding capacity so it stays in the body for a long period of time it is not easily excreted from the body okay so these are important points you have to remember about cisplatin and mechanism already you know it causes platinum complexes in the cell it damages the dna and through that it decreases the uh, formation of dna replication so this is these are some basic and important points about cisplatin i think you understood about pyrimidine analogs and about platinum containing compounds cisplatin so that's it for today uh, in tomorrow's lecture i'll come with few cases which is related to uh, finished topics as we have discussed uh, all anti metabolite drugs okay all anti anti metabolite drugs were finished with this lecture so in anti metabolite drugs we have folate folate antagonist we have purine antagonist and pyrimidine antagonist all these things were discussed okay so thank you for uh, watching we'll continue with the uh, other topics in the next class